Okay, now I am ready to do meal number two, which is the broccoli stir fry. So I've got my veggies all washed and ready to go. Now it says to use a simple slicer or utility knife sometimes, and I am gonna use a utility knife to cut the broccoli. But I'm gonna use my rapid prep mandolin. I have it, it makes my life easier. You do it however you wanna slice. I am gonna get my utility knife just to use the five inch. So I'm just gonna cut the broccoli into florets. So I'm gonna cut that off and get rid of this stem. I'll just leave it right there for right now. See if I can cut it down a little bit closer, make it easier. I actually prefer my Santoku knife, but it says utility knife, so I'll at least use the right knife. So I've got this, and I'm going to cut it a little bit smaller. Because I don't want all the stalks in there. So I'm going to cut the stalks off to where I just cut the florets at the top. And then it tells you to put this in a gallon size bag, so I'll be doing that. So when you're at home, you use the tool that you prefer, but I am trying to cut it to where it's just the florets and not a lot of stalks, so. So I just have these tops. Now this was two heads of um, broccoli that I used. So I've got this ready. It says to put that in a gallon size bag. So if we were doing this together, you would be chopping yours at the same time that I am. So I'm gonna put all this in there. Now, got that. I'm just gonna set that aside for a minute. I'm gonna cut the tops off of these peppers. I've washed them. They don't really have too many seeds, but chop that. And I'm going to put these all in the rapid prep mandolin at one time. It does say to use your scoop loop. I don't know if it'll get inside. I got these little sweet peppers. We don't like anything spicy, so I'm going to use those. So I don't think my scoop loop will fit down in there. But boy, that scoop loop sure does help make it easier when you've got the big peppers. But I'm just going to put all these in the rapid prep mandolin and do them at once or maybe in two so that it's ready. I don't know that Billy will eat this anyway. He doesn't like peppers at all. But if I get them thin enough, I have to see what setting I've got my mandolin on. I'll just pull those seeds out a little bit. He says to use the wedger. We don't sell the veggie wedger anymore. So if you've got one, that's great. You could use the simple slicer as well. Even the quick slice, if you wanted, that's usually what I do my peppers with. But here's what I love about this mandolin. I'm going to twist that. I'm going to put my peppers down in here. I'm going to do that many at one time. I've got it on Julianne. Let's take it over here a little bit. You can do a different thickness since I'm doing mine kind of small because like I said, Billy doesn't like peppers. So the smaller, the better. I love these little sweet peppers that you can buy in the bags. I bet I can put all of that in there. And get that all done in one way. ready to go and then it says to add um an onion so onion wedge so i've got a, i'm gonna save that one i think well i'll go ahead and use it and if you can see me i've got a half of one already cut i'm just gonna put it right down in there 
kind of turn it this way so it'll slice it. See how the slice goes. I'll put it that way. See if that slice is the way that I want. Yeah. And I really think that's probably enough. So now I've got that. It says to add it to the bag. So I've got my bag back with my other veggies. And I love that I can just open up this Ziploc bag and pour this straight from the little tray down in there. Let's see if I can get all those out. Okay. These are, this part is ready to go. So this part is bagged. So it says not to seal it completely tight and knead it together so that this is mixed together. Okay, it looks like it's pretty well mixed to me. You can do the amount you want, even make these as small as you want. Like I like my broccoli a little bit smaller, so you can do it however you want. But this bag is ready, now I'm gonna get the air out seal it tight and I think now I have to make a marinade so let me see let me grab my prep bowl I'm going to use my large prep bowl for the marinade and let me see what all it says to add to it and then we're going to add that straight to the steak that's already mixed. So, sorry, got to use my glasses. Okay, for the marinade, it says to do a third cup soy sauce. So, let me grab my, my measuring cup. Third cup. Now, it probably would have been easier to use my measure all cups because it's got all that on there. So, my third cup of soy sauce. I don't know if I should shake this one. And this is, I do the low sodium. So here we go. Third cup of this. And my screen's going to go off again. I could have just looked on here too. So I forgot this. These silicone prep bowls have the measure and can right on the side. So silly me. But there's that. I'm put that in the sink. Put the lid on. Let's see what else it says. The Asian seasoning, I do believe. Let's see how much it says to add that. Three tablespoons of the Asian seasoning mix and a tablespoon of the garlic oil. So Asian seasoning mix, three tablespoons. And what, I think that is what this has in it. Let's pour in here, so. That would be the rest of what I have, so I'm just going to mix it all in there. Because I used a tablespoon out, and then it says a tablespoon of garlic oil. So I'm going to add this. This is our garlic infused canola oil. So it takes a tablespoon of that, mix that in there, and then put the lid on that so I don't spill. And let me see if that's everything in that. Oh, I have to press the garlic and put three tablespoons of cornstarch. So let me see. Three. I'm going to grab my other measuring spoon just so I don't. That one's wet. So three tablespoons of cornstarch. Here's the cornstarch. So whoop. never use cornstarch so one these do come with a leveler so I could pull that out but I'm just gonna I don't think it matters if it's exactly level three tablespoons of cornstarch put this in the sink put the lid on this and what else did I say the garlic I gotta do two cloves of garlic so I've got my garlic ready to go I love our garlic press because you don't have to peel it ahead of time, but I do have to get the cloves out, so let's see if I can get a clove out. 
it will peel it for you. You don't have to mess with handling the garlic once it's peeled and getting the smell on your hands. This is a fresh clove, so. This is two cloves, so I'm gonna put those. So I'm gonna do one at a time because I'm not strong enough to do more than one. I'm gonna pull my little thing off so it's ready to go. I'm gonna press. And Billy just came in and is looking at me. And then I'm gonna pull this skin out. You can use this so you never have to touch the garlic. I'm gonna put the other one in and press. And use this. And then you can also use this little brush to help clean it. So like I said, you don't have to touch the garlic. But if for some reason you accidentally do or you get it on your fingers, the cool thing that I just discovered is that you can rub this, like I just touched the underside, rub it, and it'll take the smell out too. So I've got the garlic in there, and I'm just going to whisk this together. I love our new little mini whisk. You can use a little whipper too if you want. I'm just going to mix this together. And it smells really good. I think the stir fry is going to be delicious. Okay, and it says to pour it into the bag with the meat. So here's my steak. I'm going to pour it right in there. And then I'll bag all this together, add the instructions, put the label on, and this one is ready to go. So let me pour it in there. And you see I have these uh, flexible cutting mats here to cut on and also to grab my garbage so I don't make a mess. So we're just going to pour that in there. I should have brought my mini skinny scraper over. I'll just sit that in the sink for now. Seal it part of the way so I don't make a mess, but not completely airtight so I can knead it. It says to knead it together. So everything is coated. And that looks good and coated and ready to go. Okay, and now I'm gonna seal it tight and try to get all the air out. Get another freezer bag. This one will have the label on it so that I can read what it is. I'm going to put my meat down in there and try to flatten it out some. And then put my veggies right on top. And then I'll add my instructions right on top. I'm going to zip this up. And then I have freezer meal. Let me get all the air out. Freezer meal number two complete. So I'll label it and add my instructions. I've got to print those out. I just wanted to get on here. I needed to get my meat done. So that is freezer meal number two. And I'll come back with number three.